Don't want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay, fella. twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go, boy. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Hey, we can't walk your horse back. Come on! Okay, just let me off. I'll walk from here. Might as well just have left me to walk.
rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shall have safety. 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 The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. I'm starting to lose my patience with you. Goddamn lunatic! You think I'm playing here? Stop it, Arthur! Oh. Oh. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on! This is crap! You're better than this! Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise! Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man! Sure, but come home! No, not a chance! Please, kid, put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur, I'm, I'm gonna, 
I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all. Long time ago, son. Oh, well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, uh, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and, what was his name, H Hester? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Just what's your problem? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
I feel like the luckiest man alive and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Someone gonna help a fella out. Get a drink. I'm parched. Leviticus Cornwall's train robber still at large. I'm here. Have a nice evening. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? We'll see. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. That horse drops manure in camp, folks ain't gonna be pleased.
You busy, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Javier? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Thank you. 
<laughs> yep. Ha! Mount up, come on. now let's stop and go on foot from here just up the hill this way follow me there's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? You got your binoc- Oh, well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Okay, stick close now. Are you right? Come on before we get spotted. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. No. Hopefully it'll make it harder for them. No, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices.
Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. This time one's mouth. Creepers, Finn. Don't score notions of the dippy Plymouth's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I has gone for ten minutes, I was. You can hardly get all an day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Check in there first. <laughs> what the hell, Lord? Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur, give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good.
Let's hey, see about we... it. Here now. This is your warden. Please do. Yes.
you! Uh, happy now, you son of a bitch!